Vicia Faba, Wikipedia article audio. Faba Sativa Monch. Vicia Faba, also known as the broad bean, fava bean, faba bean, field bean, bell bean, or tick bean, is a species of flowering plant in the pea and bean family Fabaceae. It is native to North Africa, Southwest and South Asia, and extensively cultivated elsewhere. A variety Vicia faba var. Equina purse. Horse bean has been previously recognized. Description Cultivation It is a stiffly erect plant 0.51.8 m tall, with stout stems of a square cross section. The leaves are 10-25 cm long, pinnate with two seven leaflets, and of a distinct glaucous grey-green color. Unlike most other vetches, the leaves do not have tendrils for climbing over other vegetation. The flowers are 1-2.5 cm long, with five petals, the standard petal white, the wing petals white with a black spot and the keel petals are white. Crimson flowered broad beans also exist, which were recently saved from extinction. The flowers have a strong and sweet scent which is attractive to bees and other pollinators. The fruit is a broad, leathery pod, green maturing to blackish brown, with a densely downy surface. In the wild species, the pods are 5-10 cm long and 1 cm diameter, but many modern cultivars developed for food use have pods 15-25 cm long and 2-3 cm thick. Each pod contains 3 to 8 seeds, round to oval and 5-10 mm diameter in the wild plant, usually flattened and up to 20-25 mm long, 15 mm broad and 5-10 mm thick in food cultivars. V. faba has a diploid chromosome number of 12. Five pairs are acrocentric chromosomes and one pair is metacentric. Broad beans have a long tradition of cultivation in Old World agriculture, being among the most ancient plants in cultivation and also among the easiest to grow. Along with lentils, peas, and chickpeas, they are believed to have become part of the Eastern Mediterranean diet around 6000 BC or earlier. They are still often grown as a cover crop to prevent erosion because they can overwinter and because as a legume, they fix nitrogen in the soil. The broad bean has high plant hardiness, it can withstand harsh and cold climates. Unlike most legumes, the broad bean can be grown in soils with high salinity, as well as in clay soil. However, it does prefer to grow in rich loams. In much of the English-speaking world, the name broad bean is used for the large seeded cultivars grown for human food, while horse bean and field bean refer to cultivars with smaller, harder seeds used for animal feed, though their stronger flavor is preferred in some human food recipes, such as falafel. The term fava bean is used in some English-speaking countries such as the U.S., but broad bean is the most common name in the UK and Australia and New Zealand. Broad bean plants are highly susceptible to early summer infestations of the black bean aphid, which can cover large sections of growing plants with infestations, typically starting at the tip of the plant. Severe infestations can significantly reduce yields, and can also cause discoloration of pods and reduction in their saleable values. Pests and Diseases Faba bean rust is a fungal pathogen commonly affecting broad bean plants at maturity, causing small orange dots with yellow halos on the leaves, which may merge to form an orange lawn on both leaf surfaces. Beans are also attacked by chocolate spot fungus which can have a severe impact on yield. Culinary Uses In mainland Europe and North Africa, 
the plant parasite Orobanch crenata can cause severe impacts on fields of broad beans, devastating their yields. Broad beans are generally eaten while still young and tender, enabling harvesting to begin as early as the middle of spring for plants started under glass or overwintered in a protected location, but even the main crop sown in early spring will be ready from mid to late summer. Horse beans, left to mature fully, are usually harvested in the late autumn, and are then eaten as a pulse. The immature pods are also cooked and eaten, and the young leaves of the plant can also be eaten, either raw or cooked as a pod herb. Broad beans were a major food of old Mediterranean civilizations, particularly for the Romans and ancient Greeks. Algeria Preparing broad beans involves first removing the beans from their pods, then steaming or boiling the beans either whole or after parboiling them to loosen their exterior coating, which is then removed. China The beans can be fried, causing the skin to split open, and then salted and slash or spiced to produce a savory, crunchy snack. These are popular in China, Malaysia, Colombia, Peru, Guatemala, Mexico, Jilin and Thailand. Colombia In some Arab countries, the fava bean is used for a breakfast dish called full metamis. Fava beans are common in Latin American cuisines, as well. In central Mexico, mashed fava beans are a common filling for many corn flour based antajito snacks such as tlacoyos. In Colombia, they are most often used whole in vegetable soups. Dried and salted fava beans are a popular snack in many Latin countries. Croatia Broad beans are widely cultivated in the Kek and Panjagur districts of Balochistan province in Pakistan, and in the eastern province of Iran. They are called bakalink in the Balochi language, and bahali in Persian. In the South Algerian cuisine, broad beans are used to make besser and daubara. Daubara is a very famous dish and it is the popular meal in Biskra city. In the Sichuan cuisine of China, broad beans are combined with soybeans and chili peppers to produce a spicy fermented bean paste called dao banjiang. Perhaps due to the beans' popularity in Sichuan cuisine, in addition to the regular Chinese terms of silkworm bean or orchid bean, they are also known as Sichuan beans in Chinese. Fava beans are a common food in most regions of Colombia, mostly in Bogota and Boyaca. Fava beans are used mostly in Dalmatia as a part of the traditional dish stuffed artichokes with fava beans and peas. Egypt Fava beans are a common staple food in the Egyptian diet, eaten by rich and poor alike. Egyptians eat fava beans in various ways, they may be shelled and then dried, bought dried and then cooked by adding water in very low heat for several hours, etc. They are the primary ingredient in falafel. However, the most popular way of preparing them in Egypt is by taking the mashed, cooked beans and adding oil, salt, and cumin to them. The dish, known as full metamis, is traditionally eaten with bread and is considered the Egyptian national dish. Ethiopia Broad beans are one of the most popular legumes in Ethiopia. They are tightly coupled with every aspect of Ethiopian life. They are mainly used as an alternative to peas to prepare a flour called shiro, which is used to make shiro wat. During the fasting period in the Ethiopian Orthodox Church tradition called Tsamphilizeta, Tsamarbi, Tsamtisas, and Tsamhaweria, two uncooked spicy vegetable dishes are made using broad beans. The first is hilibet, a thin, 
white paste of broad bean flour mixed with pieces of onion, green pepper, garlic, and other spices based on personal taste. The second is siljo, a fermented, sour, spicy thin yellow paste of broad bean flour. Both are served with other stews and injera during lunch and dinner. Aji de habas, salta de habas, el chuk de habas, ajiaco de papas y habas, pachamanca, gaiso de habas, shambar. Bacala nifro are eaten as a snack during some holidays and during a time of mourning. Interestingly, this tradition goes well into religious holidays, too. On the Thursday before Good Friday, in the Ethiopian Orthodox Church tradition Salot Hamas, people eat a different kind of nifro called gulban. Gulban is made of peeled, half beans collected and well cooked with other grains such as wheat, peas, and chickpeas. This is done to mourn the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Bakulat is one of the most favorite snacks in the evening, the common storytelling time in North and Central Ethiopia. It is particularly a favorite for the storyteller, as it is delicious, and easy to chew and swallow. Ripe broad beans are eaten by passers-by. Besides that, they are one of the gift items from a countryside relative in a period close to the Ethiopian Epiphany. Greece India Iran Iraq The Greek word fava does not refer to broad beans, but to the yellow split pea and also to another legume, known as Lathyrus sativus. Broad beans are known instead as kalkia, and are eaten in a stew combined with artichokes, while they are still fresh in their pods. Dried broad beans are eaten boiled, sometimes combined with garlic sauce. In Crete, fresh broad beans are shelled and eaten as a companion to tsikaudia, the local alcoholic drink. Favism is quite common in Greece because of malaria endemicity in previous centuries and people afflicted by it do not eat broad beans. In India, the northeastern state, Manipur, locally call it as Hawaiamubi and is famous for its role as ingredient in Iramba, Kangsoy. In Karnataka, it is mostly available during the winter season. It is widely cultivated in South India. In classical language Tamil, known as Avarekai. Broad beans, or Bahali are primarily cultivated in the central and north parts of Iran. The city of Kashan has the highest production of broad beans with high quality in terms of the taste, cooking periods, and color. However, broad beans have a very short season. The season is usually in the middle of spring. When people have access to fresh beans in season, they cook them in brine and then add vinegar and heracleum persicum depending on taste. They also make an extra amount to dry to be used year-round. The dried beans can be cooked with rice, which forms one of the most famous dishes in north of Iran called bahali polo which means rice with broad beans. In Iran broad beans are cooked served with gold paroragon and salt and sold on streets in the winter. This food is also available preserved in metal cans. Broad beans which are called bajala in the Iraqi dialect of Arabic are a common ingredient in many Iraqi foods. One of the most popular Iraqi dishes that uses the broad bean is bajala beldihen also called tashrib bajala. This dish is a common breakfast dish in Iraq and consists of bread soaked in boiled broad beans water then topped with fried eggs and melted butter. Fool is another common breakfast dish in Iraq as well as many other Arab countries and consists of mashed fava beans. Some other dishes introduced to Iraq from neighboring countries also use the broad bean such as timon bajala which translates to broad bean rice. 
Timon bajula is originally an Iranian dish although it is also common in some parts of Iraq. Timon bajula in the Iraqi dialect or bakli polo in Farsi is basically rice cooked with broad bean and dill. In Rome, Italy, fava beans are popular either cooked with guanchal or with globe artichokes, as side dish together with lamb or kid, or raw with pecorino romano. Favi pecorino is the traditional dish for May 1st picnic. In Sicily, macu is a Sicilian soup prepared with fava beans as a primary ingredient. In Apulia, broad bean puree with wild chicory is typical dish. Italy Judd mat gardabounen, or smoked collar of pork with broad beans, is the national dish of Luxembourg. They are a primary ingredient of the Maltese cuscusu, a vegetable soup primarily containing fava beans and pasta beads. They are also used in a popular appetizer called bijula where they are served as a puree mixed with olive oil, lemon juice, garlic, parsley, and mint. It is served with bread or crackers and is the Maltese answer to hummus. In Mexico, Fava beans are often eaten in a soup called sopa de habas, meaning fava soup. They are also eaten as a snack, in which they are fried, salted, and dried. They are either by themselves as a snack or in combination with other salted, dried beans and nuts. Luxembourg Malta Mexico In Morocco Fava beans are made into besara, a dip sold as a street food. In Nepal, fava beans are called bakula. They are eaten as a green vegetable when the pods are young, generally stir-fried with garlic. When dried, fava beans are eaten roasted, or mixed with other legumes, such as mung beans, chickpeas, and peas, and called quadi. The mixture soaked and germinated, is cooked as soup and consumed with rice or beaten rice on the occasion of Jana Purnima also known as Raksha Bandhan, a festival celebrated by the Hindus. The dry and stir-fried version of Kwadi is called Bairala. The Kwadi soup is believed to reinvigorate the body affected by monsoon paddy season. In the Netherlands, they are traditionally eaten with fresh savory and some melted butter. The combination of the beans tossed with crispy fried bacon is also common. When rubbed, the velvet insides of the pods are a folk remedy against warts. Fava beans are eaten fresh or dried as stew, toasted, boiled, roasted, stewed, soup etc. Habas are one of the essential ingredients of the famous Pachamanca in the Andes of Peru, and are also an additive for pain tila, which is a homemade remedy to keep your child fed and hydrated in cases of diarrhea or stomach infection and even for cholera treatment. To make pain tila combine and roast a cup of fava bean, barley, corn, wheat, rice, and slash or beans without allowing it to burn. Add a cup of water, a carrot cut into pieces and a pinch of salt until fully cooked, drain, add water until it reaches a litter and boil one last time. For babies only the fluid is used. Peruvian dishes with fava beans include Morocco Fava beans is widely cultivated in Portugal and are very popular throughout the country. The most popular dish cooked with favas is favada, a stew with onion and pork. Depending on the region of the country the pork may be chorizo, bacon, pork shoulder, ribs, or the mixture of many of these. In Alentejo a lot of coriander will be added in the end. Besides favada, fava beans may be served dry and fried as an appetizer. Broad beans are widely cultivated in Spain. Culinary uses vary among regions, 
but they can be used as the main pulse in a stew or as an addition to other dishes. In certain regions they can be eaten while unripe or fried and packaged as a snack. Fava beans are one of the most widely consumed foods in Sudan. For most Sudanese they form the main dish during lunch time, especially more so for city and urban dwellers. The beans are cooked by steadily boiling over a sustained period of time. Similar to Egypt, the cooked beans are mashed, and prepared by adding salt and pepper. For additional flavor, sesame oil is added along with a sprinkling of jibna on top. The dish is then eaten with bread and is sometimes refereed to as full metamis. Broad beans which in Sweden were traditionally eaten as soaked brown and boiled dried broad beans fried in lard, were for a very long time popular to add to other foods as a filling side, especially with fried pork. The green raw and lightly boiled broad beans were only used seasonally as a side green. It almost disappeared from Swedish plates in the 70s during a time of rapid increase in expectations of food quality and variety and changes in food habits. However, since the 2000s, broad beans have made a comeback, partly as healthy, locally grown produce, but even more because of an increased interest in legumes, vegetarianism, healthy foods, but also a general greater curiosity about food in general, including a renewed interest in forgotten traditional foods of Sweden as well as the increased popularity of foreign food, especially Middle Eastern food, among Swedes, but even more among immigrants from North Africa and the Middle East especially. In the Egyptian-slash-Sudanese dish full metamis, or as an ingredient in Egyptian and Gaza-style falafel, which often contains broad beans instead of chickpeas, or both, which has lately become one of the most popular fast foods in Sweden. In Syria, broad beans are prepared in multiple ways for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Full metamis is the same as the Egyptian dish but with the addition of tomato, parsley, and onion and with olive oil. Another version of it includes the addition of tahini, olive oil, garlic, and lemon. For lunch, Broad beans are cooked with a mix of minced and big chunks of meat and is topped on white rice and eaten with cold yogurt and cucumber salad. Bulgur is sometimes used in preparing this recipe instead of rice. Broad beans are cooked with pieces of garlic, meat, and meat stock with the addition of lemon juice and cilantro. This dish is called fowli and is eaten on the side with rice. Same recipe is prepared without meat as a vegan dish eaten on Lent by Christians in Syria. In Turkey, broad beans are called bakla. This is also the name of a zetinyal dish made by simmering young and tender broad bean pods with chopped onions in olive oil. It is traditionally garnished with dill and served cool, together with yogurt. Another popular dish is fava. A meze prepared by soaking and boiling shelled dried broad beans until soft and then pureeing with olive oil and optionally fresh dill. The puree is left to set overnight, and served cold, garnished with dill and slices of lemon. Sufferers of favism must avoid broad beans, since these trigger a hemolytic crisis. Broad beans are rich in tyramine and thus should be avoided by those taking monoamine oxidase inhibitors. Vicia faba is high-yielding source of L-dopa, similar to Mucuna prurians. Nepal Netherlands Peru Portugal Spain Sudan Sweden Syria Turkey. Medical issues. G6PD deficiency. Tyramine. L-dopa. Nutritional information. 
Other uses